Hey guys, Ian from Proline Racing here with our new 1.9 internal beadlock dually wheel, the carbine. Now what's cool about this wheel is you can run it in either a single or a dual configuration. So what we'll need to put this together is your 7 mil wheel nut wrench and a 2 mil hex driver. And if you want to speed things up, you can also use an electric driver as well. And what's special about this wheel is we designed it so you can take each tire off individually. So let's say you put your tire on backwards, it's no worry, you don't have to take the whole wheel apart just to flip it around. So this is what's included in the package, and thankfully there's not too many screws. And you can find this graphic on a product page if you want to follow along for this assembly. So let's get started. So to start off with, we're going to take our center tube and a wheel hex. Now this kit comes with two different offsets, and if you have a standard axle, you can use both of them, the narrow and the wide offset. But if you have the portal, like on the SCX-10-3, TRX-4, or the Red Cat Gen 8, you're gonna need the wider offset to clear the portal housing. With this build, we're gonna use the standard one. Now, you're gonna want these bosses facing you when you put the hex in so you don't put it in backwards. We're gonna grab a couple screws and our two mil driver. We're just gonna get these started with the driver and we'll move to the electric. And when I'm screwing this in with the electric driver, I'm kind of keeping my hand loose on it, so when it tightens, it slips and spins instead of stripping out that hole. Because you gotta be careful, because once you strip it, there's no going back. All right, now that we got that finished, we're gonna set that to the side and grab our first tire. And we're gonna put this inner ring in Make sure the bead sits on the outside of both. You'll know you're good when you don't see any foam sticking out. All right, and then now that that's fully seated, we don't see any foam, so we know the bead's gonna set right. We'll just go ahead and take care of our second tire while we're at it too. Same thing, we're just gonna go ahead and squeeze it in there and kind of work it around until we get that bead around that inside ring. So again, oh, we got a little foam, so we'll pack that in. Kind of stretch it around and we're good to go. So this wheel, will fit any 1.9 tire. So whether you want to use these grunts here, or you want to use your large Hyrax, or even some class one tires, you're able to do it. So now, we're gonna go ahead and pick our uh, center tube back up. Make sure it's the orientation we want to go on the vehicle. So we'll set it in there, pull the bead to sit right on that edge, just like that. And we're gonna grab this back ring and insert in. And we're gonna try to line up that boss with that standoff right there. And again, we're gonna kind of work that bead around, not pulling it out too far. You'll kind of feel it when it's just right. So we're just gonna work it all the way around, and then there we go, it's all set in. So we're gonna start with putting a couple screws in, and just work our way around. Now that we got those two screws started, we'll go back to the electric driver and finish them down putting a little bit of pressure with your thumb on that back ring. Now I'm just gonna go set all these screws in here so I don't have to keep reaching back and forth with the driver. All right, now we got that first wheel on, or first tire on. We're gonna go ahead and set that down. I'm gonna grab our connecting tube. And it almost looks like the castle portion. This is where the screw heads are gonna fit into. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that in there. And set that down. I'm gonna grab our next tire, making sure it's in the same direction. And we're gonna set that down on there. Kind of stretch it a little so that bead's gonna sit where we want it. Then grab our wheel face. And you have these three little pins that we're gonna line with these six holes right here. So as we set that down. So again, like on the first tire, kind of stretching that bead to sit on there. Once everything's in there, we're gonna squeeze it with our hands so it doesn't fall apart and flip it over. So you have these channels on here, which all the screws are gonna go into. So we're gonna go ahead just, just like before. and start with a couple, and then go back to the electric driver. So I'm feeding these in, threaded part first, down that little tube. And we're just gonna get it started. 
And I don't want to seat them all the way down quite yet. Just as long as it's holding in there, we'll be all right. And then we're going to toss the remaining four screws in there and then finish it off with the driver. And these screws don't need to be too tight because again, we're not trying to strip this out. So just go until it stops and then that's good. All right, and then just to check the tightness, we're gonna go in with the hand and go all the way around. And then we'll check the back tire while we're at it too. And we're all good. All right, and then finally, we're gonna take our wheel cap and put the screws in. So only two of these screws are actually gonna hold this into the wheel while the remaining four are for decoration. And this just makes it a lot easier and quicker to change out these wheels. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a couple screws and toss them in the longer portions of this cap. And you don't have to worry about these being too tight, just go until it stops and you're good to go. All right, and then there's the four decoration screws. So now we got all the components put together and ready to toss on the car. So here we have an SCX-10-2 that we're gonna put this on to. Grab a little axle stand. And then just like any other wheel, we're gonna toss her on. We're gonna use that wheel nut driver. Go ahead and set it on there beforehand. And that connecting tube we put in there earlier, in case you drop that wheel nut in there, it's not gonna go about the whole wheel. It's gonna keep it right in place so you can grab it easy. All right, so that's nice and snug. And we're gonna take this cap and put it on here. So you're looking for these two bosses right here that are gonna fit with those two screws that are actually holding the cap on. So we're just gonna line that up and then put the screws in and we'll just go ahead and do it by hand. All right, and there it is. It's easy as that. So we just showed you how to put together the dually configuration, and now we're gonna turn that into a single wheel configuration. So let's get this spun around, and we're gonna take this uh, dually wheel off. So to find those two screws that hold the cap on, we put a couple indents right into there. So we're gonna go to where that screw is next to that indent, and you go ahead and take that off. All right, now that caps off, we'll take our wheel nut wrench. You go ahead and take this wheel off. Let's set this aside. All right, so we're gonna start working on the back of the wheel. We're gonna go ahead and take this ring off with these six screws. All right, and then just pop this ring out, try not to launch the screws everywhere. Put that one back in here so we don't lose it. And then we're gonna take this off. And then we'll disconnect the connecting tube from that wheel face. Again, with the six screws. All right, now we got all the screws out. We're gonna pull this off. Again, careful not to launch the screws. I'm gonna take this connecting tube, set that aside, and we will not need that anymore. So we're gonna catch all those screws. I'm just using the hex driver to pop them out because they're a little stuck. And then now we're gonna take that standard offset hex adapter off of the connecting tube. So now we got that hex adapter out. I'm gonna take all the screws out again, being careful not to lose them, and set them all back in one place. 
All right, so now we're gonna put the back ring onto our tire. And it's gonna keep that onto that wheel face. So try to line it up and then press it down. And we're just gonna start with this one. And then we're gonna go to the other side just to hold it down for a little bit. I'll go all the way tight so I can still pull that bead out and get it perfectly set onto that wheel. All right, so we're all good. And we're gonna finish up the rest of these screws. All right, and there's that. So now we're gonna grab our standard offset hex adapter and go ahead and put that in that wheel face, lining up the holes so we can toss those screws right in. And just like the connecting tube, the wheel face is gonna use six of these screws for that standard offset and the wider offset hex adapter. And now these screws are all the same length, so you don't have to worry about getting them mixed up. And there's the hex adapter. So now we're ready to go ahead and mount it on the vehicle. And just like on the dually wheel, we're gonna put it on just like any other wheel and tire. Get that started. And get it all tight. We're gonna go ahead and take our wheel cover lining up those two open spots with those standoffs. Just like that, hold it in there with your thumb. Now we're just gonna use the hand driver. Again, snug, not too tight. We just want it to stay there. And then the last screw. And there it is. So there you have it. We just went from a dually to a single wheel. And with our 1.9 carbine dually wheel, you can go from one, two, to as many tires as you like with extra dually wheel kits. So we hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions, you can refer to our product page where you'll find an instruction sheet on how to assemble our 1.9 carbine dually wheel. So if you like that video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check the bell for notifications on future videos. For this product and others like it, be sure to go to ProLineRacing.com. Thank you.